Hey everyone, here's a look at the handmade grunge texture pack, the easiest way to add timeless grunge patterns and grunge graphics to photo and video. Vandalize your visuals with over 60 grunge texture overlays to add subtle or heavy grunge effects. These handmade grunge texture images are a staple pack that provides wonderful optionality in any creator's design and editing toolkit. This grunge pack is scanned in at 1200 dpi, making each asset 10k resolution. Pack is compatible with all major photo and video editing software from Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Vegas, and more. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these in Photoshop, but if you're working in any other photo or video editing software, the same exact principles and blending modes still apply. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community, leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come in two folders. You're gonna get all 61 JPEGs and PNGs. PNGs are obviously rendered out with a transparent background, so you can drag and drop these on top of any photo or video and apply blending modes and color overlays to get different effects. Throughout the pack, you're gonna get a variety of different looks from light to medium and heavy grunge patterns. They're great for backgrounds and they're great to just overlay on top of any photo or video content that you have to add some distressed looks to them and just make it look like your content is kind of worn out and gives you this really unique vintage look to it. And we wanted to give you the highest resolution with these as possible. So they're skinning at 1200 DPI, which is making each one over 9,000 by 13,000. So these are over 10K in size, very high resolution. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this into Photoshop. You know, these are great. You know, use them as backgrounds. Let's go ahead and just say, never stop creating. So just a really cool, simple look like that. Let's kind of take that a step further. Let's drag in a photo that we got and let's go ahead and drag and drop in another image that we have and we'll go into our PNG folder and let's just grab something a bit more subtle that we would like to overlay on top of the image just to give it that distressed look. So with the PNGs, now you're gonna have that transparent background and you're just going to get the grunge effect. This is a bit lighter of a grunge. So as you can kind of see, just something a bit more subtle. What we can do is just go ahead and change out some of our blending mode if we want. Just gonna do like a nice multiply there. That just gives us a little bit more of a distressed and filmic look. One of the creative ways that I love to use these is on top of kind of different color layers. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new uh, fill layer. Create a solid, okay. Red is fine, that works. And we will go ahead and rasterize the layer. And then from there to the side, move our background image over a bit. And then we can look for a grunge pattern that strikes our interest. I'll go with this one, number 41. Drag and drop it in. Scale it up however you'd like. I'm gonna rasterize that layer. And then again, we can come in here and you can kind of apply, you can see what the different blending modes do to it. Darken and multiply. Lighten and screen gives it a little bit more softer of a grunge look or lighten. So let's do lighten. I'm gonna keep that. And then I'm gonna add some text. Let's go. Never stop creating. And as you can see, that's already giving it kind of that nice worn out look. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and maybe pick something just a bit more in the medium category. Yeah, like 43. Let's go ahead and click and drag 43 in. So the PNGs are great because it really allows you to just stack them and layer them however you would like. Again, I'm going to go ahead and 
rasterize that layer and then play with the blending modes like the darken and then if you'd like you can change the opacity just so it's not so prevalent and heavy I think that looks really nice um, and then let's go ahead and add a little bit more grunge on top of our photo something a little bit lighter number 23 kind of like that distress that white look you can use color dodge another easy effect is you can simply double click on the layer and you can go into your layer styles and click color overlay and you can change the color to whatever you would like so if you want that to be red as you can see we'll have that red overlook all the grunge will transform to whatever color you would like it to be but i think we'll just go kind of, kind of with the classic white click ok there you go and you know, there's no no rules with this stuff so full creative control you can do whatever you would like have it be as prevalent or or subtle as you would like it to be you can just play with the opacity so let's bring the opacity down a bit let's just bring that over a bit more and underneath the red color layer i think that looks really nice um so that's just kind of how simple and easy it is to drag and drop these in, play with the blending modes, the opacity, and some of the layer styles to change them to different colors if you would like. But I like that for now. And I love how the grunge texture overlays the text. I think that's a really nice touch. So that's it, never stop creating. So have fun with this. We highly recommend checking out our full textures collection. It's an excellent resource for your asset library. We have handcrafted high res scanned magazine cutout letters, photo film frames, letter boxes, split screen film mats, print marks, spray paint, tape graphics, and so much more for your creative toolkit. So thanks so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you in the next one.